Do you ever notice when you go grocery shopping how people just throw stuff in their cart and they never look at the price? I don't understand that because I'm a price checker and people just toss stuff in the cart. They just grab it and they just put it in. I can't do that. I have to look at the price of it. My wife is one of them, by the way. I love her dearly, but I always ask her the price of stuff and she said, oh, I forgot to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's kind of hilarious. But we're in front of Walmart today. It's a brisk Sunday morning. I woke up, it was 37 degrees in Florida here. Holy cow, now that's cold for Florida. So we're gonna run in here. We're gonna check the prices on stuff. Now some of the some of the items have come down, which is great, but they they haven't they haven't come down to the 2020 prices. I know it's 2024, but still, you know, when something doubles and then it comes down 30%, you're still up 70% on it. But other things are still staying high and going up. Beef is one of them. And fish, there's a lot of items that continually go up and I don't see a stop on that. And uh, we're just gonna go in here. We're gonna check some prices. I'll run through them with you, keep everybody updated. So let's head into Walmart. Let's check prices. Let's have some fun. So as you walk into Walmart, all the Walmarts now have these subways here. And, and look at, they have these foot long churros. And it says, says they're $2, I love churros. But you walk in and now they have uh, cases of water and beer and chips and this is America for you you know we're just programmed to watch football and uh, drink beer but uh, you know it's football Sunday here so uh, Nicola Baltra Bud Light and Super Bowl see that official beer sponsor <laughs> holy smolies let's check some food prices okay look at the papaya see they might have come down in price I thought they were $1.28 a pound but they're $1.08 a pound and um, some of these don't look too bad and then some of these, uh, they look really bad, but, <laughs> you know, once you peel them, oh, look at, this is a beauty right here. <laughs> and look at all the uh, 228 for the pineapples here. I believe they were cheaper at Aldi. And these are just your regular pineapples. And, you know, to me, it doesn't matter if it's a dole or not. It's still a pineapple. And um, I really like them in the juicer, so that really doesn't matter. 88 cents for one, one of these navel oranges. My gosh. And they're tiny too. Look at that. That's that's a tiny orange. 88 cents. <laughs> and uh, oh, I hear people crying already. Stop looking at the prices. Lemons are three dollars and ninety-two cents. You get five of them. Wow. Yep. But they're 58 cents each if you buy them separate. And here's the mangoes. A dollar fifty-eight. Dollar fifty-eight for a mango. Where are they from? Oh, they're from Peru. They're from. Holy cow, South America. Here are the regular lemons, and they're 58 cents each, and they're, they're really tiny ones. Come on, guys. <laughs> Fruit's falling. Too bad the prices aren't. But um, look at this. That's a small That's a small lemon right there. Mostly green. Mostly green. Very, very tiny. Let's check out the personal watermelons here. Has, they have never changed in price. $4.27 for the guys here. And um, from Honduras, by the way, honeydew melons 4.58, and the and the cantaloupes 2.98. Oh, I'm gonna touch them. This is soft, really soft. Last time they sat in here so so long that my thumb went through it. These don't look they don't look the best, do they? But uh, they used to, these used to be a dollar fifty here. I've seen them for a dollar in Florida. Not even this is before the uh, you know they they shot us in the arm. And 458 for the golden um, honeydews right here, four dollars and fifty-eight cents. My gosh, it's unbelievable the the price of fruits and vegetables. Unbelievable. Like I said, some of the prices have come down, some haven't. The kiwis, five dollars and twelve cents for the package, eight ninety-eight for for these sun gold kiwis. Two pounds of the sun gold here, eight dollars and ninety-eight cents. Three thirty-seven for these. 337 I mean this just breaks the bank tiny tiny red grapefruit from Florida 598 896 for oranges navel eight pounds nine dollars for navel oranges it's a, it's a, it's a mishmash here it's just just thrown anywhere and here's a little grapefruit here 98 cents a dollar I grew up eating these my mom would slice them in half like this when I was younger put them in a bowl and put sugar on it and she'd slice each one of the little individual cells in there and we'd have two of these for breakfast but we never paid 98 cents of course I know that was years ago but still that's ridiculous look at these little tiny key limes right here three dollars here's a package of limes here 
Well, I guess it's, <laughs> I guess if you have mixed drinks or whatever you do with these things, uh, you don't want tacos, that's right, four ninety eight, and here's more oranges for $4.97, four pounds of it, four pounds of oranges, $5, man, they're probably not from Florida, I doubt it, we don't, I haven't found an orange grove in Florida, driving through it, and we drove across the state to uh, Cape Canaveral, and I never saw an orange grove, <laughs> For West Central Florida, all the way across the state, three ninety-two for the lemons there. Lemon juice here, ninety-eight cents for this stuff. That's always been that price. What else do they have? What's two ninety-seven? Tangerines are two ninety-seven. What or two? Look at they they lowered it a penny. Was two eighty-eight. Now it's two eighty-seven. Ah, oh, what a bargain! I don't think this is it, is it? Is this three pounds for two eighty-seven? Because if it is, I'm gonna get it. Product of USA. It's five pounds, and that's. That's two pounds. Oh, this is two pounds. Two pounds. So this is in the wrong spot. Maybe this is it. This is. I see. I'm trying to figure it out. That's the problem with Walmart. You can't figure it out. Tangerines. These are halos. Everything's mismarked. It must be this. This must be it right here. I'm. Oh my gosh! See, it's falling out. That's what that was right there, and it fell out of the bottom. I didn't do it. <laughs> Anyways, look at this. Pomelo's three dollars and forty-eight cents and pomegranates, which aren't even here. Everything is in the wrong spot. See this? Halos, apples, mandarins, everything is in the wrong spot. Six ninety-eight clementines. Mandarins are here, so everything's in the wrong spot. Let's check out the onions. Yellow onions, three pounds, three dollars and ninety-eight cents. That's expensive. Uh, I go to Aldi. I get it for uh, less than half this. A dollar ninety-eight per pound. Or a one pound of these is a dollar ninety-eight hot house tomatoes, and they've got a ton of them here. But you know, there's so many people at shop, and 24 ounces of of this. This is in the wrong spot again. Four ninety-eight for something, three ninety-eight for these. Would anybody spend? And these are the biggest ones here. Three dollars and ninety-eight cents for two of these tomatoes. I know I would not. And it says ten ounces right on it. Ten ounces is what that says. Four forty-eight for these guys. 448 you could probably get two salads out of it 248 and you get one salad out of it <laughs> just the prices on everything and uh, they're putting everything out this morning a dollar 97 for these guys here and 398 for the for the avocados 398 so that's a buck each for the guys holy cow 436 for the jumbo avocados right here you get four of them 436. There's your corn, 75 cents each. My parrot really loves the corn, but 75 cents each? I don't think so. I know it's not in season, but this is just absolutely insane. Let's check potato prices. Because these vary. They, they've gone way up and gone way down. Now, it looks like these are, I thought these were $13 at one point. 10 pounds of russets are $7.67. And these, these were were $13 now they're $8.98 see look at that look at that because I did a show on it I held it up and I said that's crazy eight pounds eight ninety eight so they've come down but look at they're still they're still nine dollars still nine dollars so what's I don't call it a bargain five pounds of white potatoes six seventy eight red potatoes four forty eight you can do a lot better at all the Idaho potatoes five pounds now Idaho's these are white see this it says white and it says Idaho, wrong spot. All the time, Walmart, always the wrong spot. Russets here, five pounds, 427. And, and yellow potatoes here, five pounds, 547. So you gotta be careful when you shop here. Ruby Sensation here, 24 ounces, 367. These have always been expensive. They're really good, but they're super expensive. Who would, I, I used to buy them, and I should say, who would buy them? I used to buy these, but I won't buy these anymore. I just can't throw my money away on these guys. 367 in a single they wrap them. A sweet potatoes a dollar 28 in a regular Idaho easy baker wrapped in the uh, plastic here is a dollar a dollar 18 for one for one of the guys. Crazy stuff. Let's check out some of their baked goods here. <laughs> $11.47 for this right here. Frosted sugar cookies and um, they don't even look good. I don't care for Walmart cookies whatsoever, but $12 for that. Let's just call it $12. $5.47 for an angel food cake. 
how many ounces it's four, 14 ounces for an angel food cake there's nothing to it nothing to this and it's five dollars and fifty cents and a lot of this stuff you can see they don't even have the prices on it so you don't really know if this is 547 right here and you don't know what that is you don't know the prices on it because they don't put it on on the package until you get to the register and once you get to the register and it's wrong then you have to call up call on assistant there but this I'm, I'm believing this is 547 which is way too high this is their seafood area <laughs> at Walmart a little bit of smoked salmon right here look at this four ounces 746 right here cocktail shrimp 498 and then I see something in here that's 1398 everything is out of place these little crab delights here 472 remember when these were two dollars and 57 cents one pound of it and here's crab delights and this is one pound 434 but here's a bigger package so right here and you know this is just ground up uh, fish flakes here five dollars and 12 cents for that stuff they even have tilapia here oh my gosh and you know this isn't from this country here skinless fillets and it is look at the price on it 666 you don't want to touch that product the product of Columbia <laughs> the price was 666 <laughs> unbelievable here's some salmon product of chili $24 it is 947 a pound with skin on it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad but I, I think I'd rather buy from Costco or Sam's if I'm gonna get any salmon but you can see some of the prices. Here's Atlantic salmon here. Uh, that's 10.17 a pound, 9.15 for two little pieces. So there you go. Fish is still expensive. They have ahi tuna. Would you buy ahi tuna at 9.96 from Walmart? I don't know about that. Let's check out some of their meat. And now I know over here this is some of their their grass-fed stuff. 6.28 a pound, 7.28 a pound, 19.32 for the package. 19. 32 so similar price at Sam's and Costco in this crazy stuff this is uh, 1298 a pound for that 650 for that there's some markdown beef right here um, I don't like to buy anything marked down 121 is the freshness date 797 for or for four of these patties four hamburger patties is eight bucks and your regular hamburger which is it's come down in price I think but then again this is just your cheaper chuck 8020 is all that is 497 a pound and um, it's kind of my favorite because it has the best flavor then you go into the leaner stuff 1097 for two pounds and and your look at this it's come down in price was 32 for the tube 2494 20 and people buy this a lot people buy a ton of this stuff they'll, they'll have this thing cleaned out today and of those big tubes, the 10 pound tubes, you just can't see the meat. They look better at Sam's. And here's some markdown stuff if you dare try. $4.90 for that. Save a buck. Let's check out some other things. What is this stuff right here? Is, are they selling fat? What is this? There's a tripe. Uh, it's tripe, scaled tripe, beef tripe. $3.73 a pound. Put that stuff back. There's more tripe there. $17 honeycomb beef tripe. <laughs> oxtails I, I just don't understand the thing with oxtails does this look appealing $22 for this $9.83 a pound you 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 probably get four ounces if you're lucky of beef out of this and it's $22 if you're lucky look at this package here country style beef ribs $11 a pound is $12.40 for this $12.47 and here's I have Round thin, 824 a pound. You get three quarters of a pound. This is 577 for that. What else do they have? Here's a ribeye. Here's a ribeye, just your basic ribeye. 1497. Thin cut ribeye from Walmart is $15 a pound for two of these guys. That's that's high. Beef has not come down in price. And here's your corned beef. We used to get this stuff for under three dollars a pound. Now it's five seventy-eight for this. Twelve seventy-seven. You know, you put it in the in the pot with a uh, head of cabbage. You boil it for about two hours, and you throw the head of cabbage in there, all cut up, really good. But twelve seventy-seven for that little guy right there. And what else do they have? Look at this. Look at this sad-looking piece of New York strip. 
$16.97 a pound for this. This is $11.88. That's really sad. Here's a filet mignon. <laughs> $21.82. 12 bucks for this guy. $12 for that. And here's where's the T-bone? Here's the T-bone. $12.97 $12 for T-bone. $14. Bucks. Unbelievable. A mistake. Here's some beef back ribs. $7.34. It's all bone and fat, and I doubt you could get three ounces of meat off this for $9.54. I really doubt it. What else? If you buy ribeyes, here's some ribeye thin cut. Thin cut ribeyes, $18.97. Holy smolies! That's absolutely insane. That's crazy. That's just absolutely crazy. That's nuts. Would never buy it. I'm sorry, can't do it. And then the pork. Save 20 cents a pound. Let's check this out. $4.47. <laughs> Come on, Sam's, they're $2 a pound. $10, $10 for that. $10.73. What else do they have? Let's look at the Smithfield. Smithfield here, $2.44 a pound. Bone in butt roast. Look at all the fat on that guy. That's a lot of fat. Pork belly. <laughs> My wife actually likes this stuff. And uh, $5.97 a pound. And um, there's not much fat, uh, not much meat on it. It's all fat. And here's the boneless chops right here. $6.18 a pound. All natural. Oh, of course. $6.80 for that. And here's a bigger package of it. $4.78 a pound. And this would be $2.80 something or under $3 at, at Sam's Club. Obviously, it's cheaper at Sam's. And uh, how much are the ribs here? <clears throat> $2.47 a pound. $10.60 for one. So, I mean, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Four ribs, anyway. Let's check their uh, chicken thighs. Boneless, skinless. They're always expensive. $4.29 a pound. Wait, I'm sorry. That's that's the weight of this. It's $2.86 a pound. So that's comparable to, to other, uh, like Sam's. And freshness guaranteed right here, $3.94 a pound. Chicken breast tenderloins, they're always expensive. That's always pricey. Chicken breast fillets, $2.67. What else? Boneless chicken thighs. Boneless skinless, $3.34. Always expensive whenever they take the stuff off. And chicken leg quarters, these are my favorite here. I really like the chicken leg quarters. They're $1.38 a pound. I don't think that's too awfully bad. I really don't. Uh, you know, in this day and age here, and then the chicken drumsticks, how much are they? $3.27. All day long at Sam's, and then how much are the uh, chicken thighs? The chicken thighs here are $1.77, and I know they're $1.38 a pound at Sam's Club. And no hormones or steroids, I don't know if I believe any of that stuff. I mean, you know, it goes from, a, goes from an egg to a, a, a chicken on the shelf here in 10 to 12 weeks. <laughs> I don't know about that. Let's check out some of their uh, packaged meats, which I'm, I'm not into anymore. I go to the butcher shop. If I want something, I pay more, but 14 ounces. Remember, they were 18 ounces, then 16. Now they're 14, and they're 398. Remember, all this stuff has sodium nitrite in it, which is a preservative. So, And what is this stuff? 420, 422, if it's in the right spot. I'm just not sure. Look at your hot dog prices. These little Hillshire links, 762. 298, 694, 567 for some of this stuff. 798 for some of the beef franks here. Turkey cheddar for this, 394. The prices of hot dogs. I found something affordable here. They're the this crap right here. Bar S classic franks. A dollar twelve. <laughs> Believe me, when I when I used to go camping up in Michigan, I used to buy crap like that. Until I smarted up, and I, I smarted up. That's not a good word, a good term. But anyways, um, you know what the heck? I was just I was just camping out, and 397 for these hot dogs. Oscar Mayer, 250. Wow, 250 for these. One of these packages. They're they're stuck together. But anyways, that's the cheapest price of anything I've seen in here, other than those uh, bar s uh, uh, crappy franks. Wieners here are 284 for that right there. Oscar Mayer wieners, and some of the beef ones are 384. Oscar Mayer Natural Turkey, 452 Nathan's, 447. There's your package, in Nathan's, 447. 1090, 1094 for these, 1094 for those. They are expensive. 
you can get almost double that for just a couple bucks more at uh, of course Sam's Club they really proudly display on the end cap the expensive cereal it's four dollars and 98 cents for the frosted flakes and you get tw you get 21 ounces here it's family this is the family size and uh, what we're doing is we're heading toward the silver foil right now and we're going to check this stuff out and of course it's not come down in price but they're sold out 1298 1298 898 for the 150 square foot of the um, silver foil prices just aren't coming down they never will on this stuff you know that I mean once it once it went up like that and I expect anything like this any of the, any of the precious metals like this to just continually go up another thing that someone said in the comments said that check out your foil because not only are their prices going up but they're making it thinner they're making this stuff thinner than than the regular uh foil and so I need to find out what it what the thickness of it is but it's not telling you on the package it only tells you how long it is but someone said that they're, they're making it thinner and I, I wouldn't doubt it because they're raising the price on this and making the product thinner because they're, they're poking their fingers through it a lot easier than uh, aluminum foil that we used to have so what you have to do is go to the heavy duty stuff in order to make up the difference of the thicker stuff and they probably make the heavy duty stuff the thickness of the regular so you know we just keep getting screwed let's check some of their butter and some of their bacon 398 for one pound of butter so that's four times four is 16 and you can get um, it's really going up it's 14 dollars for four pounds at sam's or costco land of lakes butter is five five ninety eight for one pound of it holy cow and what is some of this i can't believe it's not butter which is crap three dollars and 98 cents for that that is really gone up in price carry gold 418 look at the bacon prices here 373 that's probably the cheapest oh it's 12 ounces so you pay more and you get less that's what's happening here's fully cooked bacon you get 2.1 ounces three dollars and 44 cents <laughs> two ounces 344 that's just crazy <laughs> 448 one pound you get one pound of bacon there 624 for uh, oh 24 ounces of bacon so it's right around five dollars a pound and here's a hodgepodge mishmash of, of of stuff that's just thrown about 828 it might be some of that 828 i don't know what that is and 1048 could it be this <laughs> look how it's stacked in there like it's jenga someone's been playing jenga with the bacon <laughs> Wright's bacon 1698 566 off and um, it's three pounds and there's see there's a chicken in there <laughs> 898 for bacon here 674 for the center cut bacon there now oh, that's crazy 898 for this it's just a hodgepodge of mishmash of all kinds of crap that they just shove in here Canadian bacon 418 997 447 for this whatever this is Yellowstone they just put any name they want on it Johnsonville brown sugar honey this is this is frozen like a, no it's not like a rock but it was previously frozen 398 this doesn't look too bad but you can get it a lot cheaper two dollars and 19 cents at Aldi and let's check out the eggs the eggs used to be really high remember when they were screwing us a dollar 64 for a dozen large eggs here 396 for the organic 296 for the egg lands best and for 18 of these if this is in the right spot this 596 452 for these here's Pete and Gary's 518 Nellie's range free 414 616 204 for the jumbo white eggs right there so those are your prices and if you want 60 eggs 786 for the guys you can, you can open the box but I don't know how many are broken in here I've never bought a, a, a big box like this but if you have a family it's probably your best bargain and they've got a crap load of eggs and remember when they were there was a shortage of eggs and then the prices were really high I think I think they were just screwing us and, and they're good at that aren't they and right next to the eggs is the very expensive orange juice and what's the price on it today seven dollars and 48 cents for a gallon of your cheap great value orange juice that's nuts and this stuff is 698 that's 748 what's the difference i don't know 398 for the half gallon 
here it is 748 for that 748 so orange juice has gone up to that stuff is 592 for the fancy looking container 80 89 ounces they can't even give you uh it just there's they're screwing with the quantities and you know just to get more money out of us and they make the containers look like they're really tall and they give you 52 ounces instead of a half gallon three dollars and 94 cents 398 <laughs> simply light simply expensive 828 for this 828 for that 128 at least at least they give you 128 ounces a full gallon but you're paying eight dollars and 28 cents for orange juice one gallon high pulp simply orange 89 fluid ounces 648 holy cow i found the bargain here uh simply orange 11.5 ounces they can't even give you 12 ounces of it they're just shorten you shorten you that half an ounce in a buck 68 crazy stuff 348 that's probably the best bargain here nope nope some of this stuff 328 right there let's run through the gluten-free aisle because that's always crazy look at the pizzas 878 for this stuff 898 698 768 and stuff like this 748 just crazy 13 ounces 13 ounces all this stuff is way overpriced a tiny little cauliflower crust right there 548 698 838 nine dollars for some gluten-free nine dollars here gluten-free stuff and it's 11 ounces that's absolutely nuts we're just getting screwed and look at the look at the bread here all this bread 677 897 this stuff is seven dollars and 96 cents for this and it's almond flour tortillas seven ounces is seven dollars and 96 cents that's crazy right there and the gluten-free bread i know it's expensive but why why they look at 753 753 753 what is 967 could that be it my gosh oh it's the it's the uh cinnamon cinnamon raisin i don't see it but it's 967 753 538 and in these right here these english muffins six dollars 97 cents here's some cinnamon english muffins here eight dollars eight dollars and 33 cents for that stuff absolutely insane well that's going to wrap it up for the shopping haul here at walmart i came in here and i want to just check the prices let everybody know what's what's happening with the prices some prices have, have come down some prices have gone way up and the potatoes they're bouncing around you know the meat is always high and and some of the gluten-free stuff we know that's high and then the foil now someone said that they've made it a lot thinner and you're still paying the same high price and, and i believe that i mean they're just shorting us everywhere you know you pay more and you get less so i hope everybody enjoyed the show give me a thumbs up for like don't forget to hit the subscribe button until next time this is scott with the real economy we'll see you